Hey guys, what is going on? It is Mr. Frosty here, and we are back for the second game week of match predictions. Bringing you, obviously, the predicted results of the games that are to be played. So, the first game, we have Swansea versus West Ham, which is an early kickoff on Saturday at 12.30. Swansea being the home side, and after Swansea's 5-0 impressive win away to QPR, I think they'll be flying at home, and I think they're going to beat West Ham 3-0. I really do. Even though West Ham did win on the opening day, buying over a Swansea win there, 3-0. Aston Villa home to Everton. Everton played magnificent against United at home on Monday, and this season I reckon they've got Europe. I really do. So I'm going for an Everton win there, because Villa's team, I don't know what's going on. Their bent is just not fit enough. So I'm going for an Everton win there, 2-0. And let me just apologise now, guys, because I have had a cold all week and it's not the best, so I apologise for that. Anyway, next game, Man United home to Fulham. I've heard a lot of stick from Danny now because he's all the United fans say he's crap, they don't want him anymore. He's He thinks he's better than everyone else, so nonetheless, I don't think it'll affect United too much. So I go for a Man United to beat Fulham, even though Fulham won 5-0, I go for United win 4-2. Norwich are home to QPR, both sides lost 5-0, but Norwich have the home advantage and I'm going to go for a 2-1 to Norwich. Southampton versus Wigan, Southampton are at home, and they were very impressive against Man City, I'll have to say. And there I'm going to go for a Southampton win, 2-1. Sunderland at home with Reading, I think Reading, I think they'll be a, they're a good side, but I think because Sunderland have the home advantage and now they've signed Stephen Fletcher, I think it was, ooh, 14 million? 14 million was ridiculous for that match. Even added by yours, 5 million. I mean, come on. There's no logic, so. And suddenly they're trying to get Adam Johnson as well. I don't know if it's on loan or permanently, but they're after him. But I don't know if he'll sign it. No, he won't sign in town. What am I on about? So, I'm going for a Sunderland win there, 2-1. Tottenham home to West Brom. A lot of people said, well, say, well, yeah. When Tottenham played Newcastle, a lot of people said that Tottenham should have won the game and Newcastle were really lucky. But... You know, I go for a Tottenham. Yeah, Tottenham. Even though West Brom did beat Liverpool 3 0, I don't know. Uh, Liverpool maybe were on the best days, obviously, but I still can't see West Brom pulling off a win. So now Tottenham got Arabayo, I go for a Tottenham 3 <coughs> 0. Sorry. Chelsea at home to Newcastle. Now, last season, that was a hell of a game when Newcastle won there. Denver bars goal. Flabbing dong. That was amazing. But. Chelsea, they have been good. Eden Hazard, whoa, what a player. He has been exceptional for Chelsea so far. This this was hard to choose. Initially, I was going for a 2 all draw, but then, because Hazard has been playing really well, I was slanting towards 2-1 Chelsea, but I think that one's hard to protect, but I'm going to go for a Chelsea 2, Newcastle 2. Then on Sunday, Stoke at home to Arsenal. Arsenal are horrendous against Newcastle. They really were... Podolski missed an absolute sitter, and now Van Persie's left. He can't carry the team no more. So, ooh, that's Stoke versus Arsenal. There, I'm going to go for Stoke 2, Arsenal 1, because this season, I think Arsenal may be lucky to get into Europe, along with Liverpool. But, again, it's only the first game, but at this point in time, I think Stoke will beat Arsenal 2-1. And then the big one, Super Sunday, Liverpool versus Man City. Now, even though Man City did win, I think Liverpool will pull off a win, yeah. I really do. I think Liverpool win that 2-1, because at home, I just can't... Liverpool are a weird side, honestly. So, I'm going to go for Liverpool 2, Man City 1. Anyway, guys, that's basically my predictions of the game week 2. If you can subscribe, it'd be awesome. Even leave a like. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!